ammas um, unconditional love and special motherly affection and blessings to all of you if you call me a ah, before say ma i will be with you karuna mai or amma as she is called by her devotees grace dar utsav recently we brought two episodes on amma worshiped as mother incarnate by hundreds of thousands across the globe hi friends welcome to utsav this is nalini today we have a close devotee of amma shri bhadra vadali a resident of maryland working as a civil servant with us department of agriculture shri bhadra vadali along with his family has been following amma shri karunamayi for the past 20 years once a month washington dc group of amma's devotees meet at vadali's house for satsang and chanting of bhajans and vedic scripts the group also donates food to homeless people in the area with amma's blessings they are planning to start shri karunamayi center in washington dc metro area let's talk to shri bhadra and enlighten ourselves about amma shri karunamayi her work her message and the various spiritual and humanitarian activities that amma herself conducts all over the world welcome to utsav bhadra ji i'm honored to have you on um, fox 5 plus tv today we are sitting here and you know conveying amma's message to the whole nation and it is with her blessings um so thank you for being with us today and then now uh, let us talk about uh, amma who she is first because for the benefit of those who don't know much about her jai karna mai jai karna mai thanks for inviting me here uh, nalini uh, amma is divine mother supreme consciousness mm-hmm. divine supreme consciousness and revered as a um whole mother for the u- entire universe right. and uh, amma was born on vijayadashmi day on an auspicious day mm-hmm. and amma's birth was predicted by the living saints of those days mm-hmm. uh sri ramana maharshi mm-hmm. and sri chandrashekhar saraswati of kanchi peetam mm-hmm. and amma grew up uh in a very very religious traditional atmosphere showing miracles right at the age of 21 amma went to peninsula ashram mm-hmm. a forest area mm-hmm. and did penance for 11 years oh wow and uh, the penance was actually without water and food continuous meditation people used to go there come back and surrounded by surrounded tigers by, and lions i heard in you know, all yeah yes the snakes so Amma made forest as her own home mm-hmm. and lived there for 11 years Correct. and after Amma returned back from the forest Amma uh-huh. at that time the Amma became became uh, actually achieved that uh, the fruits of the penance mm-hmm. achieved yoga siddhi mm-hmm. at that time the whole universal energy uh, flowed Lost into Amma it. flowed into Amma and uh, the whole divine powers uh, merged into Amma. Okay. Now tell us a little about uh, how you first came to Amma because you have been following her for 20 years. I am I'm curious are you a sibling? Yes. Uh, uh, well, I, about 24 years ago mm-hmm. myself and my wife we went for uh, individual blessings day. Okay. Okay. When we approached Amma uh amma was referring to something which we were discussing earlier something that was bothering us so she was omniscient she knew yes yeah. uh, then we were surprised how come amma knows about it what we were discussing that was bothering us amma gave us assurance and divine yeah. blessings to yeah. us that's where yeah. we came to know uh-huh. amma amma knows everything and amma is god's mother okay okay tell us a few um you know tell us briefly about her humanitarian work you know what she does like you know she feeding the poor etc what all she does uh... amma touched millions of people take for example yeah. in india amma f- uh, feeds poor people uh-huh. every day mm-hmm. and built about 1500 houses permanent houses otherwise people were living in uh, mud houses and thatched oh, houses no i know i know and i'm a provided free medical care about 2 million treatments uh, mm. to uh, less fortunate people who cannot afford uh, corporate hospitals right and uh, i'm a started vedic schools uh-huh. i'm a uh, gave uh, um, ashram for brahmi cows oh. and uh, 
Yeah, yes. she she prevented the slaughtering of animals and such, you know, and humanitarian only. work she has done. And she traveled all over the world. And we'll have uh, more of Amma. We cannot get enough of her, so we will do one more segment on Amma, and then we'll continue our conversation uh, with you. Um, so, uh, you know, thank you for coming to the show, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing more about Amma in the next segment, friends. I have experienced Amma's divine love the very first time I met her. She was so sweet. One should meet her in person to partake of this divine love. Friends, don't forget to tune in on the 18th of April at 8 a.m. for the second part of this program to learn more about Amma's work. Thank you, Badraji, for getting us a little closer. Thanks for having to, me here. Um, Amma, through your inspiring talk. Jai um, Thank you very much. Jai Karunamai.